Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And with all the excitement surrounding Raspberry Pi 5, there hasn't been much talks about Raspberry Pi OS, which has been revamped recently to use Wayland. So we're gonna be checking that out. So I am on a Raspberry Pi 5 right now and this just booted into the desktop. Just from looking at the desktop itself, it doesn't look like anything's changed. Now, you will get this update only on the 4 and the 5 and everything on this desktop has been switched over to Wayland, which is pretty impressive. Now looking from the top, you could see that there's this panel up on top over here. Now if we're still using the X11, which is still on Pi 3. This is LX panel, but in the new one, we're using something called Wayfire. So this whole panel has been reconstructed and it's not using LX panel anymore. And what's cool about it is that they actually added a few plugins in here. So if I go over here to the top, add and remove plugins, uh, we now see this cool menu and you can actually add CPU. And I'm gonna add that to the right, CPU temps and GPU. You can actually now see the utilization of your GPU. And then there's a spacer available if you need to. Now if you want to make this look nice you could actually like move this up to the top configure it i'm just going to leave it as is and then you'll see the new menu uh, add these new changes to it so you'll see c temps and then gpu um, furthermore they actually made animation well not made but it has animation if you saw that pop up and if i minimize that never used to happen if i close this it'll shrink down so they added that in there as well and it's got a little bit of a drop shadow so it looks a lot prettier than it was before this is still pc man fm but they have heavily modified it to use wayland so it looks and operates just like as this should it doesn't have any like x11 elements in there anymore now they also changed the audio to use pipe wire instead of uh elsa like it was before again this only changes are for four and five uh, anything three and before you will still have the old desktop this is isn't much of a big change but they do use network manager now compared to what it was before so you can add VPN connections and stuff like that another big change that they did was a uh, VNC viewer so if you are trying to use a uh, real VNC for this new Wayland version because now they're using I think called way VNC you can no longer use real VNC viewer to view this desktop you actually need to use something called Tiger VNC so Tiger VNC is another software that will actually allow you to view the desktop now so if you're still on the old version which is x11 you can use real vnc but the new version now you will have to use tiger vnc viewer just to view the desktop more so if you go over to preferences now they offer two browsers you can either choose chromium or firefox depending on which one you like and they both support graphic acceleration so right now i'm going to go over to firefox i just swapped over to it and you're still, still going to see both browser it's just making it more default and if I go over to Firefox and let's see if I run a video, there you go, GPU is already being utilized. As soon as I jump into Firefox, look, GPU is being utilized, CPU obviously, because it's got to boot up the program. And I'll go over to YouTube and can I watch a uh, big buck? Big buck? Big buck bunny. And there we go. It's actually really smooth. Uh, let's do a standard I don't know if it's going to be able to do 4K. We could try. Let's see if it could do 4K. And from here, it's running. GPU utilization. I love this new thing. It just shows you 70, 37%. It's running not full screen at 4K, but let's do stats for nerds. We had a little skipping frames over there. Dropped a couple of frames. Let's full screen this. Oh, wow. Well, current optimum resolution... 1080 it's not running the 4k let's see if i can switch that over and oh this this video is only 1080 so let's switch that over to 1080 it's running pretty well it's got a few drop frames it's got more than a few drop frames so but it's actually running pretty well if i made that a little bit smaller to the view frames that's pretty good. The GPU is being utilized. CPU is still midway and it's running about 55 degrees temps. Interesting. It does work not as I want to, but 
and, and you could see that now Firefox is using the GPU instead. Another thing to add is more notifications. And here's one that I'm trying, which is to do the overcurrent on the USB ports. And this scared the crap out of me. I was slowly raising it from 1.7 amps all the way to when it would fail. And I was so afraid that it would like pop my USB, but I did it anyway, just for you guys. And here it goes. I'm basically slowly raising it and it knocks off right around two amps and all the ports stopped working. And then the message of a uh, USB overcurrent pops up as you can see. And then as soon as I lower it back down to like 1.7, all the USB ports work again. So there's some sort of uh, over voltage protection device on there so you won't blow out your USB ports. I've done this on the three before and I blew out my USB ports on the three before. So uh, I was so nervous on doing this on the four, but it does have a cool new notification about stuff. Hardware wise, I am protected. Now it also does have a, uh, updates so you could actually just show updates and it has this little thing this was also in available on the x11 system or the older system as well but you can definitely update your system if you want over here i'm going to cancel that and then let's take a look at pi configurations to see if anything has changed over here so other than the browser you could choose what to be default chromium or firefox and the first time you boot you can actually ask to remove either one if you want to or keep both i decided to keep both so i could try it uh, display, you could actually change this to whatever your screen resolution would be. That's fine. I'm used to that. Interfaces, you have uh, SSH, VNC, and a bunch of all this other stuff. Performance, you have file system overlay, uh, boot partition, and then overlay. Okay. And then it actually doesn't have like GPU clock. Remember back, you could actually add the RAM to the GPU. It's not there anymore. And then localization. So at first glance, it might not look like anything has changed but the desktop has been completely changed to Wayland and it's really cool. And Wayland is actually more stable to run graphical applications as well because I don't get the screen tearing as I do in X11. And here I'm just playing Astro Menace and you can tell that there's no tearing whatsoever. this does tear anything that's graphical will tear on the x11 version anyway that is it i do like the few quirks and updates that they did i do like that they went over to wayland as well i'm going to be testing different operating systems on the raspberry pi 5 as they come along because it's still so new there's a lot of things that don't work until it gets updated so i'm waiting for those updates to come in and once they do i'm going to be checking those desktops out anyway that is it for me if you guys have any questions about this hit me up down in the comments below and if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and then say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.